That is Walt Disney and Mickey. Ooh. Hey y'all. We are in St. Augustine, Florida. Florida. St. Augustine. We're going to take a trek into the old drugstore, which is also Potter's, Potter's Wax, Museum. Wax Museum. We've never been to a wax museum before, so I imagine that it would be pretty weird, you know, seeing all these lifelike or pseudo lifelike things around. So I don't really know what to expect, but it should be pretty neat. So anyways, let's, let's go. go. the only one we can touch. This is Potter's Wax Museum and this portrait is the founder George Potter. 1949 after many years of planning he made a decision to open America's first wax museum in the nation's oldest city St. Augustine Florida which is where we are now. And as we look up on the walls you can see decapitated heads of pretty sure famous Famous people? That's Ludwig van Beethoven. I would say something to him, but I think he's deaf. Let's come around. Ooh, look. Tussaud, Tusso, however you say that. That's her there. Oh, oh, pardon me. As we come in to the right, this looks like this uh, goes towards the 1400s and 1500s, the Renaissance era. Well, except for down at the end, that looks a little more old western. Directly to our left, this astonished looking man is uh, St. Augustine of Hippo, Roman Catholic saint. Oh boy, this is, this is a little weird. This is, the first, uh, this is the first wax museum I've ever been in. You got all kinds of, I, I don't know who a lot of these people are. One thing that's cool is, uh, these are all life-size. I guess that's a normal thing. Oh, that's Rembrandt. Ah. Check out Dumbledore. Check it out. Harry, Harry. Whoops. Over here, we've got Buffalo Bill. And old Annie Oakley from the Wild West. And then a little bit closer. Daniel Boone and his raccoon hat. Well, here we've got Davy Crockett over here at the bar by the bartender, Excuse and me. Jessica's she's she's trying to order a drink. Can't get any Can service in. Oh, wait, I don't know if it's her or for Annie. She's got a gun pointed right at her back. Man, look at that ice cold stare. Those beautiful blue eyes. That's a handsome man. Here we've got some trivia. What Greek woman became an Egyptian queen at the age of 17? Answer, Cleopatra. I bet you couldn't guess that one. It's the, I think that might be the only Egyptian queen I know of. Yeah. So, then as we come down this hall, this hall of presidents, if you will. This hallway, it's got presidents and ladies. Oh, look here, this is cool, man. Don't know who they all are. Some of them are pretty recognizable. Some are not, to me. Luckily, there's a chart here. Lady Bird Johnson. Hmm. Oh, look at that handsome JFK. Then directly behind us, we've got our Patriots and Founding Fathers. James Monroe, Patrick Henry, James Madison Jr. Oh, Ben Franklin. Hamilton, famous for his Broadway work. And George Washington, bringing up the back right there. Old George. This is spooky, man. They're just real enough to be scary. 
Like, it's hard to tell who's real and who's fake. Oh, that one moved. Wait, oh, that's Jessica. This guy's holding an Edison record. That's Edison, Thomas, Thomas Edison. Man, check out these light bulbs. They're huge. Can you see those things? Those are, those are big old light bulbs, man. How weird is that? Here we got Albert Einstein. Hey, did you guys know that he died of a ruptured aortic aneurysm and his ashes were scattered at an undisclosed location? Where'd you go? Brittany's looking, Brittany's looking a little rough these days. Her teeth look nice, though. In the center here, posed up around this grand piano, we've got different composers of different eras. That's Johann Sebastian Bach. There's Beethoven, the rest of them. Look at them keys, playing a duet with, who is that? Who's this duet? It's a, oh, it, oh it's Ray. Ray Charles. Doing a duet with Ray Charles. Oh, pardon me. Oh, this room here. I could get the tension in this room. We've got the, some would say these are the good guys. And right across the way, the bad guys. Depending on who you ask. Ooh, look. There's Juan Ponce de Leon. He's got a big part to do with St. Augustine. He led an expedition in search of the mythical fountain of youth. He landed near here, claimed the land for Spain, giving Florida its name. Even though there were some other people here first, but that's, oh, we won't talk about that. Diana, Prince of Wales, in all her glory. Looks like she's given the old side eye to Ernest. He looks a little hurt. Come on, Di. Give him a chance. Well, here we've got Marie Antoinette. This is before she was beheaded. King Louis, Napoleon, and Josephine. Swords. Swords and stuff. Whoa. It's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. All in I I didn't know that I didn't know that's how that worked. I did not I did not know that's how that Holy moly. But these are He's got the eyes. crazy eyes. Oh, speaking of crazy eyes. Look at that. These can be used, not these exactly, but at one point these were able to be used like for real. Like What do you mean? Like with people who don't have eyeballs. Oh. Oof. Oh my god. Ooh, this looks fun. We're gonna go into the chamber of horrors. Ooh. <gasps> Oh, the mummy? What happened here? What is this? He was killed. He was killed. He looks, he looks pretty dead. Yeah. From what? Death from... Death? Frederick Krueger. Oh, man. What is this device? The missing lovers. We found them. Here they are. If you flip this switch, completing the circuit into this board, over to this chair, this man, this man, can you call him a man? This monster will come alive. So we're not gonna flip that switch. He looks, man, he's big. He's a big dude. Next to him, we've got the creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh, he's got big feet, too. Oh, this is morbid. So, like, doctors wanted to know how long a man would live when he's being hung. So, Sim Jackson, he agreed to count down as long as he could, and he was able to count down 14 minutes. That's crazy. Whoa, he's only on minute two. And as we exit the Chamber of Horrors, check it out, Herman Munster, a different kind of monster. Ooh, and as we turn around, 
Got some Star Wars characters. Yoda, Jar Jar, Little Annie, and his future self, Darth Vader. C-3PO and R2 talking up a storm here. And if you find yourself really scared, you may need to use the lavatorium. Follow the death masks. This here looks like the most regal staring contest in all of history. Who do you think's gonna win? All these hats and no head to put them on. Now this is pretty neat. There's a whole a whole case of these busts of different people. Seinfeld by Michael Jackson, Nick Cage and Elvis Presley. Was that Robert De Niro and Robert De Niro and Arnold? Come with No, I'm not gonna do it. I don't know what this means, but this is injured Abraham Lincoln? I mean, his eyes look pretty rough, but I don't really I don't, I don't know what injury they're talking about. Is it the injury? You know, you know, like, you know, the injury? I don't think so, because I, I think we'd be able to tell somewhere. It's more like zombie Abraham Lincoln. Brains. Look at those peaceful eyes, man. Look at that. O-M-L-K. J-R. And you see back here, they've got a workshop showing different stages of different projects. Here's one here. Ooh, look at those hollow eyes. Ooh, they're so hollow. And there's the hand and a little kid's head. This is pretty neat. This display shows where it starts. And then you go to this side. How it ends up with all the hair eyes, sometimes teeth, right here, Whew. that's weird, well, it looks like here we've got some potions and stuff, ooh, Toby, hey, hey, Toby, don't look now, but he's right behind you, but it's okay, I think, because Harry's right there, you smell that? You smell? Oh, sorry. Sorry, buddy. You, you probably don't. No wonder he's so angry. Walter, Elias Disney. So, we just got finished with the Potter's Wax Museum, and it was really interesting. Uh, I get freaked out easily, so yeah. stuff like that, every time I turn the corner, it seemed like I thought somebody was real there, but it was not. I almost yes. knocked over Elvis. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was pretty neat. Uh, a little spooky. St. Augustine, Florida. Potter's Wax Museum. For $10 a person, it's not, not a bad price. Yeah, not too bad. I think I would, uh, I would say I would recommend this. It's pretty, pretty interesting. Neat thing to do. We got stickers. Saying, Ooh. proving, proving that we went here. Yeah. It's our badge. It's our badge of honor. Yes. That we've earned. If you like this type of thing, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Let us know what you like. Let us know maybe what you didn't like. Comment, yeah. like uh, it, subscribe. Have you guys been to a uh, wax museum before? This is our first time. So on to the next adventure. All right, so as far as we're concerned, that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. cool.